Also, now he's witness. Nick is not green is here. Uh, we are going to, he's, as you can tell, he's a Zoomer. Yeah, you can tell I'm a Zoomer. Yeah. Some people think I'm Gen Alpha. Is Gen Alpha? That's like, I don't even know what the age group you're in if you're Gen Alpha, honestly. You have to be like less than eight, 12 or something. Yeah, speak super close into the mic and like Hello. be loud. Hello. Yeah, you're, you, that, that way you're good. Okay. Um, Gen Alpha is what? 2010 plus? 12 and younger? 2010 plus. Okay. Beast on his blood to gain his youth. That's actually why I brought him here. I'm going to do like that finance bro guy. I'm going to, I'm going to do, he's my blood boy. Nick is my new blood boy. You, have a, you had an old Yeah. Boy. Like as a, <laughs> like I had another blood boy. Uh, you know, we don't talk about what happened to him. So Nick is the new blood boy. Thank you. Now. I'm so. Generation Alpha is 2010 to 2023, so the oldest is 13 years old, and you were born when? 1999. You were born in 19... Oh my god, you you didn't make the cutoff, you're not a 2000 baby. No, I'm a 90s kid, guys. I am, yeah. I'm a full-blown 90s kid. So you're not... You're like a fake Zoomer, dude, you barely... Yeah, no, I'm kind of a fake Zoomer, I'm also kind of a fake... I'm like a fake drama person, because I don't actually... Normally, I don't. I don't even use TikTok. Actually, I just. I just started like getting things from people. But then yesterday, I was just like all over the drama. I was on top. Yeah. Of it. I. Well, you're okay. You say you're not like a. You. You say you're not like a TikTok drama guy. <laughs> but let's. My last, well, I was. Let's look. Let's look at this. Let's look at this real quick. Um, the second channel. Uh, oh, it's not on the first one. No. What the second right, channel? It is. It's going to pass the first one, I think, at some point. Okay, let's take a look. So, this is your... You're not a TikTok drama guy, you say. <laughs> Fine, no. I'll talk about the Tattoo Gate drama. Until... Country fans are losing their minds over Morgan Wallen. The Cake Gate, the TikTok drama goes deeper than you think. Think this TikTok drama went too yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, Okay, listen. I wasn't TikTok drama um, but curator, but then... Um, the algorithm forced gave you me a, Yeah, they gave me a lot of money for it, so... yeah. I'm still doing it, and it's fun. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. You want to you want to move on to uh, another celebrity? Yes, I want to. This one's interesting. This one's a fun one. Okay. This is a the, trigger warning. Okay. You know uh, about this one. Obviously. Trigger warning, guys. This is I I know about this drama. I didn't cover it, uh, but I honestly I should have. This is huge. This is okay. Really this is very big. Jenna Ortega. This is really bad. Guys, news. trigger warning. Jenna Ortega smoking a cigarette. <sighs> You remember the comment where it's the guy being like, please be weed, please be weed. I did, did not that see that. Wait, I didn't like, I, I didn't actually look at any of the response, but wait, hold on. Let's not jump the gun here. Let's <laughs> take a look. Let, let's, let's, let's watch this video, okay? I need you <laughs> I to see. I don't know if I can. I, I need you to see this in all of its glory, okay? That's right. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's over. It's Jover. She's smoking a cigarette, guys. It's done. It's it's so bad. Um, Twitter received this in the most normal Twitter way possible, where like you had people in the standum going, "I hope that's not a cigarette." I'm freaking out. Where is yeah. it? Is this the uh, one? It's the this guy. No, this one is this guy who is just obsessed <laughs> with the fact he's like under so many replies, and it's crazy. But. Hold on, show me the show the me the original one's the one at the main tweet at the bottom. Um this crybaby one. Okay. So Yeah, this is the one that shows all the Okay, so this is Garnered Hilarious reactions. Wonder where she learned this. This is her in a movie, so he's saying like, Oh, she learned this in a movie. So now she's doing it in real life. Yeah, that's really fucked up. You can't believe <laughs> actors are in one. movies. Please be weed. <laughs> Please be weed. Is this for a movie or nah? Is that a cigarette? So I I think what we don't factor in to consideration, and I like had this moment uh, in my mind recently about like a Twitter account that I sometimes engage with and, and like read his writings. Uh, a lot of people on Twitter, you don't know how old they are. Oh. So like there's a very high likelihood that this person is like 12. They like legitimately don't know what a cigarette looks like. Or they're just like, oh my God, it's a cigarette. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. So um, Twitter is great though, uh, obviously for this kind of thing, because on the one hand you had this, and then on the other hand, people were like jokingly saying cigarettes are cool and sick. Yeah. And then 
there's like this huge side of Twitter that's like very anti-cigarette to the point where they think anyone who smokes a cigarette is like bad. They yeah, we need. He's a bad person. We need to kill them. Yeah. Um. And then even nah, Gen Z hates cigs. Yeah, they're fucking. I don't care about Gen Z's opinion on cigarettes. You want to know why? Because their fucking lungs have collapsed already from inhaling True. the metric ton of vape juice that is like aftermarket and illegal okay and they can do it during school hours which they can't do with like a cigarette yeah They're, exactly you're hitting it throughout the day which is like you're fucked exactly uh, so i don't give a fuck about what zoomers have to say about cigarettes even though yeah don't smoke uh but also at the same time it does make you look cool okay does. but also don't smoke it's the worst thing that you can do okay yeah. but if you look through the first the the original tweet i showed you and you go in the responses because you get all the blue checks first. So, of course, every single response is like people who are like <laughs> smoking full on cigarettes at 20 years old. It's like what full you... on. Wait, what do you like? What, what is that? Is that of like a half <laughs> cigarette? Like, what does that mean? She also isn't like like chain smoking. She like barely inhaled any smoke. And everyone's like smoking full on cigarettes at 20. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Um. So that part. There, oh, where's that guy that I oh I linked two of his tweets. This one under it isn't isn't blue, like isn't hyperlinked. The Chauncey Chauncey Gardner, but th this tweet's crazy also. Okay, um, so I I even have a Twitter mutual that actually got uh involved in this as well. Where uh here we'll look at this Chauncey Gardner guy though though <laughs> right. U.S. billionaire Mike Bloomberg is spending $150 million per year to convince the public hashtag safer nicotine vapes are at least as harmful as combustible cigarettes, which kill half of all users. Today, 70% of Americans believe that falsehood. So Jenna smokes. So Jenna smokes. Okay, this guy's a Ph.D. too, which, uh, or, I mean, I don't know if he is, but it says he's a Ph.D. on <laughs> his Twitter account. So he must be. And you can't lie. It's illegal to lie on Twitter, so I'm going to believe him. I'm inclined to believe that he truly is a Ph.D., um, oh, let me fix the Kaya cam a little bit. She's being extra cute right now. Okay. Um, so Zara W says, where did the smoke go? She didn't exhale it. <laughs> says, yeah, no, you can see it. Look more carefully. You can see the exhale and the side stream smoke coming off the cig itself, but she's not inhaling a massive cloud. Me, she's not inhaling much, but she did inhale. But she did inhale. It's like, it's like the whole, like virginity construct of like the moment that like this thing happens then you're suddenly like a cigarette smoker or you're a sex haver or yeah whatever it is like the smoke went in and out of your lungs you're a smoker yeah well i just i don't understand why people are this hyper fixated on it uh, one way or another but i do like it i had a friend uh, i had a twitter mutual literally posting about like you know, posting studies about how, like, it's okay to smoke cigarettes until the age of 30 to 35, uh, <laughs> a, a, as long as you, like, quit. Yeah, as long as you just stop doing it. But as long as you quit before, uh, like, af before 35, and then, like, your lungs will go back to the same, uh, you know, health that it was at uh, prior to smoking cigarettes, which is, like, it sounds insane, but it also completely, uh, it, it completely, you know, misses uh, how difficult it is to stop yeah that's the trick smoking it's not to know when to stop <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's like you guys are just confused about when you're supposed to stop you think you're supposed to stop way older you guys just have to cut it out in your 30s which yeah. is like the if you smoke cigarettes before then that's going to be the hardest time to quit like you're <laughs> it's as someone who used to smoke a pack a day i'm going to tell you right now it is the worst okay it is literally the absolute fucking worst thing. I, like all serious, uh, all jokes aside, I mean, as a as a drunk driving advocate, as a smoking advocate, I have to also tell you, literally, it is very, very, very shitty for you. I yeah. still chew nicotine gum non fucking stop. So just remember that nicotine gum is also a very good way to stop smoking. And you still drive drunk too. Mm -hmm. um, well, that one is just like I just drive better when I'm drunk. That's why. Yeah, you're um. So people uh, freaked the fuck out, and Twitter did the thing that Twitter is supposed to do. But I think a lot of this can like be explained with, um, I think a lot of this can be explained with, uh, with just like a lot of people are just either memeing, like yeah. using cigarettes as the account, or 
lot of people are like 12 and they have no way of understanding um they have no way of understanding like uh you know people messing around they just like think everything is serious wait is your friend this using cigarettes guy like is he the one that got you said one of your friends got into no <laughs> uh, the friend i got no my oh. friend was like legitimately arguing to my twitter mutual uh, who is a fitness guy and a leftist, uh, and uh, you know, an all around good dude, uh, was, was really invested in telling people that you can. And yeah, Muhammad, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, I don't think he was memeing. <laughs> <laughs> like he was posting like studies and shit. That's great. Um, what about that Indonesian baby who smoked 36 a day? Is that a real thing? Half the people who are in love with Jenna Ortega are in high school. Me, by the way. Yeah, I think I think that's probably part of it, right? The Jenna Ortega fandom is like... It's like literally 17-year-old Yeah, boys. it's like... I mean, of course. It's like... I, I watched the Wednesday show because it was like something that I could watch with my mom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like you just got to figure out like what what can you watch with the family and I can't like imagine a picture it was, of it was you terrible sitting there and watching the Wednesday show it was mom. it was not good I will admit <laughs> it was not it was not for me apparently she didn't like it either have you seen those clips people are mad at her for that too because she like didn't she say she like rewrote it yeah she said that like the writers just sucked oh my god oh this is him they're pleasant sometimes have been in the center of nice memories for me. I didn't expect people to go insane when I was taking talking neutrally about them in the half chest. Like people are fine with so many other equally bad voices like alcohol, but Sigs are the soul Satan, apparently. I mean, they are pretty destructive. They're pretty deadly. Um, but you know, he's he's Iranian. <laughs> like you're you're being yeah. you're being xenophobic if you uh get mad at an Iranian man for defending smoking cigarettes. That's all I'm gonna say about this, okay? Off off hands, off. Yeah, you have to. You have to let him argue that you should smoke, okay? He is an Iranian man. That's it's what just, they do. It's just how it is. It's just how it goes. Um, Jenna Ortega could never. <laughs> oh, I do remember this meme. This I don't. Classic. It's the not a meme. This is real life. <laughs> you know this meme. It's a YouTube video. This toddler on the island of Sumatra, famous for his nicotine addiction. <laughs> Look at how cool he is. That's but the he coolest. Looks, he does look. Bro, cool. that is the coolest baby of all time, dude. This is literally an. A Why are we? Are we arguing for. Wait, what the fuck? This baby also does heroin? <laughs> this is what he's known for. <laughs> what the thing. fuck? He's got a leather jacket and everything, dude. Uh, Aldi Rizal started smoking. <laughs> he just sit around and watch him do old. it. Now he's hooked and on 40 a day. And don't think of denying him his fix. A toddler goes crazy, screaming, slamming his head on the floor, <laughs> even getting sick if he doesn't get his two packs a day. I've never seen someone with this small of like hands holding a cigarette and it's just like mad. Dude, he is the goat. He's dude. also blowing. He's doing like smoke tricks for them. Dude, he is so sick. Okay, I'm back. I'm back to. Oh my god, he quit. Nobody likes a quitter, baby. You Fucking dumb bitch, loser. you dumb baby. Imagine quitting cigarettes. What the fuck? You were so sick. Wait, the cigarette puffing tricycle riding Indonesian two year old with a two pack a day habit has changed his ways and is now a star pupil in his primary school, according to a report. Ardi Rizal, who is now nine years old, became a viral sensation in 2010 when he was captured smoking 40 cigarettes a day while cruising around in the village of Sumatra in a red plastic toy car. Embarrassed Indonesian government officials two years later got the child in rehab. <laughs> Where he managed to kick the habit, but developed a food addiction. Oh my god! By the age of five, yeah, of course, that's the that's the byproduct of like, not. Also, yeah, I was gonna say he is very fat for like smoking two packs a day and weighing like ten pounds. <laughs> it's like much. genuinely like, shocking how fat he was uh, at at his age for how much he smoked. Cause like, it's impossible to to. It's the it's a major appetite suppressant. Yeah. His father, Muhammad, who introduced him to smoking, has to the At the oh age of God. two? Like, what the fuck? How do you introduce a baby to, to smoking? Fags. He insists that his son is healthy. Dad. Oh, he said that. <laughs> By the way, I haven't heard the F slur uh, be referenced as a oh, cigarette yeah. in the wild in forever, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I almost never hear it ever. Yeah, he just he just said it. 
wasn't calling the kid that. Uh, no. Luckily, Aldi is now in rehab under Indonesia's National Commission Child Protection Supervision. They sent him to rehab. Do you think they had a intervention? Damn, he's got the binky in one hand and then a fucking smoke <laughs> in the other. He's like, this is great. He's just going back and forth. I know I know. British people use it for cigarettes, chatter. I know. I'm just saying I've never heard a British person say it. Um, so by the age of five, he weighed 53 pounds, 13 pounds heavier than the average. His mother said Rizal would eat fatty foods and consume three cans of condensed milk each day. Oh, my God. Condensed milk slaps, though. If he didn't get, a f get his fix, he would bang his head on a wall. A tick he picked up while smoking as a toddler. A tick he picked up? Why'd they let him do that? Dude, he's so sick. But he made a complete turnaround in the last few years, the mail reported. He's now moderately sized fourth grader, free of vice, focused on hanging out with his friends and passing the next grade. This story had a sad ending. He, so he, loser. Yeah, he, he <laughs> quit smoking and he does not look as cool as he did when he was smoking. Yeah, poor guy peaked at two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it here.